gets a bit wacky the farther you go along. There's some wacky weapons and situations. I wish they would have kept it around Rappers in Kingdom Hearts 3, all the different forms and stuff like that, but they didn't, and it is what it is, I suppose. Excited still to see what is to come in the Kingdom Hearts universe, because still love them. And then they got rid of, like, all the Final Fantasy characters, too, which, I mean, wasn't a huge part of Kingdom Hearts, but... And the Colosseum, bruh. See, there's just so many things that they left out at Cage 3. You know what, honestly, though, the biggest letdown in Cage 3 was for me, because I was super excited for it. Super excited for the Winnie the Pooh level, man. I was super excited for the 100 Acre Wood, and then I got there, and it was tiny like there was just nothing in it and uh i was, I was kind of let down about that one because yeah i just i've always loved the winnie the pooh levels and uh it wasn't there i mean it was technically there but you know yeah all right but yeah rechain of memories uh i guess we'll do proud <laughs> i'm not particularly good at this one to be honest Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, I never have been. I never got that into the combat system or anything. So it's always been a little iffy for me, but is what it is, I suppose. You agree the forms were your favorite. Dual wield, never finished three. So happy, but kind of got burned around Monster Rank level. Yeah, I mean, I finished it uh, pretty quickly after picking it up and playing it. And, uh, like, I, I do plan on playing through it completely again. I've played a little bit of it again, but I plan on completing it on the hardest difficulty along with all like the extra stuff from the dlc and all that bs but you the best at kingdom hearts you got this i mean i'm decent at like one and two i i've 100 percented number one besides the gummy missions on the hardest difficulty beat number two on the hardest difficulty a couple times but like i uh i wouldn't say i'm the best mr noodle but thank you boo <laughs> Need to get it again and complete it. Cage 3, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said so it's good. Like, in the ending, I mean, it's always a little bs -y because that's how Kingdom Hearts games are, but... <laughs> but I still think it's well worth it. Next time I won't get a compliment? Well, that's kind of rude, Mr. Noodle. I said thank you. <laughs> Man, all the Kingdom Hearts music are bops, man. Just every single one of them. Just freaking bangers, man. <laughs> Is Jesse McCartney in this one? Yes. But not really. <laughs> like, you see him, but I'm pretty sure you see him, but not until the end of the game, if I remember correctly. It's been, it's been a while since I've beaten this one. I've only ever beaten this one twice, because, again, my least favorite game in the series. Um, but I'm pretty sure you see him at the end. I'm not sure if you ever hear him talk or anything, though. So, like, the actual Jesse McCartney may not be in the game. <laughs> yeah, it was so much the game, honestly. You just burned on games at the time. Couldn't find one that hit the sweet spot. Kind of got quick burnout because of that. That sucks, man. Lame, stupid game. Yeah. I mean, kind of. <laughs> no, I mean, I it, Rechain's not bad. It's just... It's just not great either. It's the combat system is all that ruined it. Like, story-wise and everything, I'm fine with it. But the card-based combat's just... Uh, doesn't, doesn't hit it for me, man. No Jesse McCartney. Horrible. Fair. Fair. There weren't enough feet in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, you want to know why I was late tonight, Mr... Or not Mr. Noodle, but Nate. Tell you why I was so late in this one. Mr. Noodle tried to burn the house down, so... <laughs> no, so I get home, right? And I, I bought all the groceries and everything after work tonight. I get home. And there's not much space to, to put anything. Because our kitchen's tiny. And we had a couple dishes that needed wash and stuff. So there wasn't much room. And I had used the air fryer that we have to make some, uh, what are they called? Tater tots. And I pushed it back, like back on the stove to get it out of the way so I could sit the groceries on the stove. And the <laughs> freaking thing must have hit one of the 
uh, one of the burner knobs, man, and it turned it on. And we didn't know it turned it on until I started to smell something. I was like, oh, but the heater just kicked on. It's probably just burning some dust or something. And then I turn around a minute later and all of a sudden there's just smoke pouring out of the, or off of the stove. So I hurry up and grab the foodie and pull it off the burner. Oh man, it, it was nasty. Yeah, yeah, the bottom of our Ninja Foodie got a little bit melted in the process, too. The whole house smells like burnt rubber. It's magnificent. <laughs> but the Foodie still works, thankfully. I melted it uh, with my heat gun to get it to sit flat again. Like, took the piece off that melted and got it to lay flat. Checked the wiring inside of it. Everything looks fine, so... Thankfully, the Foodie's fine. I cleaned the stove with the razor blades. So everything's okay, but yeah. <laughs> no, it was definitely her fault. Definitely Mr. Noodle's fault. I mean, she didn't really have anything to do with it, but, you know, she was there. So. <laughs> and she's the clumsy one in the relationship, so I'm blaming her for sure. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Noodle. Just playing with you. It's not your fault, I know. I'm just glad everything ended up being okay. Didn't even get the foodie out. Yeah. You were at work? <laughs> Not when all this happened. You were there when all this happened. You were actually standing right next to the stove. I don't know how you didn't smell it. Because it was pouring smoke, man, whenever I turned around. Yeah, it all ended up being okay at the end of the day, so whatever. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, man. I had something similar happen. A roommate of mine once upon a time left the stove on without the gas lit. And I came home and just the house smelled like gas so bad, man. Yep, I had it too. Mm -hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge, maybe it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. Where, where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, don't be ridiculous. Yeah, you wouldn't know a cookie sheet could burn, but, uh, <laughs> they can definitely burn. <laughs> Sora! That's it. Who are you? Couldn't smell at the time. It was your wife that you let you know. Oh, yeah. I'll try some magic. So what I'm hearing is we've all almost burned our houses down at one point or another. <laughs> I don't think I've ever left the stove on before. Not that I can think of. The moment you set foot in this castle. You forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past, and you will meet people you miss. Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him. Hey, in your defense, it also stopped your mom's house from burning down. <laughs> what happened there? How'd you almost burn your mom's house down? 
What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Zora. To lose and claim anew. Or, to claim anew, only to lose. I try not to talk over, like, cutscenes too much. But I find I just don't care with Let's this one. <laughs> <laughs> like this game just i i love it because it's part of the kingdom hearts universe if it wasn't i probably would not care about this game at all <laughs> let's see okay well, yep 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 i know how to play the game for the most part. <laughs> sure, I've forgotten something somewhere, but I remember all the basics. Your mom put wicker basket on top of old gas stove and caught on fire. Wow. Grandma started hollering up and she got her oxygen machine while she's trying to put it out. Rushed her, grabbed the hose, and got everything taken care of. And yeah, that could have been real bad, especially with the oxygen machine being right there. Because let me tell you, you blow some straight oxygen on something, it will burn like crazy <laughs> have a little bit of experience with that ourselves a um a rug just like a slightly shaggy rug and some oxygen that will go up quick man it flares like nothing else it's insane i've seen it firsthand <laughs> yeah you don't you don't want to mess with oxygen machines and anything including fire This town's an illusion, recreated from her memories, blah, blah, blah. Forget about that, Sora. Donald and Goofy are missing. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we going to do? We don't know where they are. But for some reason, Jiminy Cricket's still here. They're at the mercy of the cards. Master the cards and their strength will be yours again. Tutorial time! Everybody's favorite. Laws of this cast require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you are your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Yeah, stove was literally next to the main gas line. Then there was auction machine. Fire department said if I didn't get it out when I did, whole house would have went up. I believe it, man. Especially if there was the gas line right there, too. I didn't even think about that with it being an old gas stove. Cards you pick up or add to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Use card. Thanks, Donald. Yeah, that could have been really bad, man. Cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to your aid. Cards are the heart of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, cards are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. Which also, sadly, has to do with cards. <laughs> First thing for yourself, move, then use the card. <clears throat> yep, yep. You know how to use your strength, but it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Oh, we caught him. <laughs> Every move causes cards to disappear. So use up all your cards. You'll be unable to act. But there's a solution. You can regenerate them. I can't. I can't use them up more quickly. It won't let me. Just, just have to guard this invincible dude. Guard this invincible dude. Attack this invincible dude a million times. <clears throat> Reloading cards up quickly goes back to the beginning or to the reload or something along those lines i wasn't paying that much attention you can recall spend cards at any time you need only wish but each time you do the cards will take longer to return the cards are by no means unlimited so use them wisely anticipate the flow of battle and choose the most effective cards you may use any card in your deck yep 
L1 and R1. Cycle through. Very good. Four card types used in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use cards from a different category, you do things like press select. Okay. Yeah, it was a fun time. Funny thing is I got myself out of going to church that day because I was sick and was sneaking playing 360 because you were grounded. Whole hour of playtime lost because of that fire. <laughs> so <laughs> really what you're saying is, is that you skipped church and because of that, your house almost got burnt down. <laughs> Choose when to attack, when to defend, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Yeah, it must just be your end, man. Because I have it uh, up on my end over here. And uh, it's definitely Kingdom Hearts playing. <laughs> Try turning down the settings. I, I saw that we uh, I have transcoder access today. So you should be able to turn it down to like 720 or, or uh, 480, 360 or something like that. So that you don't have to deal with so much buffering and all that BS. Yeah, Mr. Noodles got Kingdom Hearts 2. Yep, yep. So something just broke on your end there, Nate. You tell us when you opened the door, we saw a strange light, and the rest is just blank. Nah, would have burned if you didn't get out of going. Yeah, I mean, maybe, you know? Butterfly effect and all that. <laughs> Everybody's got some new clothes. They're wearing Kingdom Hearts 2 stuff, except for Sora. Is it the cards? Who knows? Master the cards and make your way through the castle, but from here you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. He's helpless without Donald and Goofy. His lord knows they're the only two that actually do anything, right? Especially Donald, man. There's no way we could have ever uh, gotten as far as we did without Donald. <laughs> walk the avenues of late in memory and you shall meet someone dear to you. Wonder what he means. Very spoopy. Jiminy's got a bad feeling, like always. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Hey, look, and we got a card. How convenient. Thank goodness we just randomly got that card exactly when we needed it. You can perform the following actions in the field. You can move, you can look around, you can face forward, you can swing your keyblade, jump, and dodge roll. And you can do all kinds of cool things, huh? Striking objects in the field with the keyblade yields various results. Try hitting the barrel. Hey, we did it! I mean, we've basically won the game at this point, right? We figured out how to hit a barrel. <laughs> nah, I wanted to like this game so much more than I did. It's kind of sad, really, because I, I like deck building and I like card games and stuff like that, but the combat just never did it for me. I've heard that some people like the Game Boy Advance version better, the original. So one of these days, I, uh, I'll i pick it up on Game Boy Advance and try it out on there. I may like it better that way. Okay, there's a way... That I don't remember to stack cards. Is it triangle? It's triangle, okay. I mean, that wasn't a real combo at all, but screw it. <laughs> Grandma threw a very flammable rug on it. It would have been coming home to burnt house otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Yeah, I mean, people panic, do all sorts of crazy things in situations like that. Skip church every chance you got, wasn't an optional thing, and never really got to play this Kingdom Hearts. Cousin talked about it a lot. Yeah, I mean, so I, the basics of the story is after Kingdom Hearts 1, you are searching for, you know, your friends, like you always are, and you end up going to Castle Oblivion, and in Castle Oblivion, it's ran by Organization 13, if that wasn't clear. 
And here yeah. in Castle Oblivion, you the farther you progress, the more of your memories you lose. And uh, it turns out that they were using, if you remember Naminé from Kingdom Hearts 2, they were using her to manipulate the memories the whole time. And it's really just like a filler thing to kind of explain the, the gap between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. It's not super important for the storyline or anything like that, but it does help kind of explain who Naminé and Roxas and everybody are, you know? Kind of like, uh... What was the one for Nintendo DS? I can't remember the name of it right now. 358 slash 2 days or whatever. Kind of like that one, right? You don't need to play it to understand the story and everything, but it's cool if you do. That's who uh, Mr. Noodle was talking about earlier, by the way, was Roxas. Jesse McCartney as uh, the voice actor for him. So, hey, and Mr. Noodle donated another 10 bits with a puppy of some sort this time. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. But yeah, and uh, as you progress through the game, you get different cards. You can build your deck. Uh, doing certain cards in certain order does um, different, like, special moves. And you can control kind of what style of room you get based off of what kind of card you use. Frank or Z, I'm surprised I didn't know that. I'm a bad Twitch uh, user, man. Frank or Z is pretty well known. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a beagle. I don't know. I don't know. My dog breeds very well, to be honest with you. All right. Let's drop a first save. So we don't have to rewatch those cutscenes if we ever do decide to come back. What do you mean insufficient free memory? There is definitely enough free memory. I promise you that. Oh, that is bullshit. I have so much. This is a, a giant memory card. Hold on. Let me pop another memory card in here in case we, like, die or something. <laughs> I am prepared. I had my big memory card is the one that's in slot one right now. It's just refusing to work. Some games don't seem to like it, probably because it's not an official PlayStation memory card. It's a, a knockoff. There. That's all right. We'll save to one of my official ones then. Yeah, mechanically, the game's actually pretty pretty neat, like how you can control the rooms, how you can um, like create all your combos, build your deck. I, I like a lot of it. It's just the combat and the story's a little, uh, a little drawn out, I'd say. They made the game longer than it was really necessary, I feel like. But like, it, mechanically, it, it's very interesting. It was a cool idea for a game. Doesn't want to save a game without Jesse McCartney. <laughs> you and your Jesse McCartney obsession, Mr. Noodle. Ridiculous. Oh, and then, like, so how the combat works is enemies also use cards for their attacks. And if, see, like, uh, wait for the enemy. He used a 1, so if I use a 5, it breaks his card. So whatever move he was trying to do just gets canceled. But, of course, that works both ways. Now, if you stack cards for special moves or whatever, then all of the point values of them stack as well. So that's a way to do stronger moves. But every time you stack cards, the first card in the stack is lost permanently for that for that match, right? You get it back later. Um, but yeah. And then... Uh, zeros will break anything, but are also broken by anything, right? So zeros are useful in a sense, but also kind of useless. Like, I'm sure people who are actually good at this game can make really good use of them, but I am not particularly good at this game. So yeah. He's the best, even though he got married, still the best. <laughs> well, Mr. Noodle, I'm glad you love him. <laughs> And you donated 250 points to the 12-hour stream challenge. Thank you very much, Mr. Noodle. 
Okay. I'm going to shift the screen up a little bit. I notice it's cutting off the words on the bottom, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot at the top of the screen. So we're just going to shift that up a little bit. Oh, 500. What do you mean 500? It says 250. It says 250. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, it looks interesting. It is like it's definitely worth playing, Nate. Don't get me wrong. I just, uh, you know, even for a filler game, I would have preferred something more similar to the uh, Kingdom Hearts two or or one or whatever. You hit it twice and it took five hundred from you. Yeah, I do see that. It's uh, up to 9k now, so it did take the uh, the 500 from you, but... And it, it, it gave all 500. Or actually... Wait, 9k? Didn't that take... So, wait, if it's 900, it would have taken 1,000 from you, right? Because Nate's donated 2,000 four times, so we were at 8,000 before. And now we're at 9,000. So did you accidentally click it four times? <laughs> it's showing... Oh, really? Yeah, on mine it says raise 9k. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know. Whatever. Regardless, I appreciate it, Mr. Noodle. It was 250 and you hit it twice. Okay. You don't gotta argue. I believe you. You had 9k points? Well... Yeah. Weird coincidence, I guess, but... But anyways, yeah, I usually... This game here, like... I end up liking it a bit whenever I first play it. But then after, after like, getting halfway through the game, I just start getting tired of the... <laughs> the, the, the way the mechanics work in it. And then I also get annoyed with Donald a lot in it. Because if you notice, he just used a fire-based ability on a fire enemy which literally heals them. <laughs> so it's like, just kind of BS, you know? Like, what are you even doing with your life, Donald? <laughs> what the hell is that emote, Mr. Noodle? <laughs> what is... Jabasted? Oh, and then every time you regen your cards, it becomes harder to regen your cards in the same match. I guess that's a thing, too, that I forgot. It made you giggle. <laughs> it's a turkey with a man's head. Well, I saw that. <laughs> um, so HP should be pretty obvious. That's your HP. Uh, CP is your card points, if I remember correctly. That's how many like high-level cards you can have. Um, I don't think we need any more HP at the moment, so we're going to increase our CP. And then if we go into the start menu here, we can go in and edit our deck. And then you can see we have all of our cards, and this is the same exact layout that they'll have as well uh, whenever we're going through. So what you can do is, like, you can lay them out. And what I normally end up doing, I don't know if it's the best way to play it or not, but what I end up doing most of the time is just laying out my cards in such a way so that I'm using special moves pretty much constantly. Uh, so I can just keep spamming triangle, essentially, <laughs> to play through it. Uh, like I said, I'm sure that's not the best way to do it, but that's usually what I end up doing. I'm not going to worry about being that particular with it right now. Right now, I'm just going to throw this stuff in here. Um, although I am going to... Isn't there a button to move a card? Uh, sort. Organize. Hold on. Organize. Nope. Slights? Nope. L2, R2. Could have swore the... Oh, okay, yeah. Triangle. Triangle. I'm just blind, obviously. Um, but yeah, so... That's how that works. It's an interesting system. It's just not my favorite. Yes, but Donald is one of the strongest mage core in the Final Fantasy lore. Uh, is he, though? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is he, though? I don't know, man. He's fairly useless. <laughs> I 
I swear there's some weird theory about it. Oh, I believe it. I, I totally believe it. Not that he's actually the strongest, but I believe that there would be some weird theory about it. <laughs> but yeah, see, since I've been spamming the uh, triangle button, we have, like, next to no cards in our, our deck now. So that's something you gotta be careful about. Because you can just completely run out of cards. And then you're kind of screwed. And these guys suck. I should probably just run from this battle, to be honest. But I'm determined to kill him. I hate you so much. Oh my lord, the stupid bli uh, blizzard ability sucks, man. <laughs> It never wants to hit anything. Oh, my Lanta. Thank you so much. I needed that goofy card. Can you can you hit the last one, please? Thank you. <laughs> Get us out of this damn encounter. See, all these cards we are picking up at the end of the level are all different... Uh, Encounter cards. Or not encounter cards, sorry. Different room cards is what I meant to say. So yeah, this time I won't use triangle. And you'll see once we end up regening our, our cards, we'll still have a bunch of them. Because we didn't regen constantly. Or I'm sorry, because we didn't like uh, stack constantly with triangle what I meant to say there. Now, since, like, Donald and Goofy are there, I can't remember if it's the first card or the last card that gets removed. It may have been the first card. Of course, we're not even gonna have to do a regen, so I guess that's a moot point. Mr. Noodle donated another five bits. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. What do we got this time? Vohayo? <laughs> You're up to 50 bits now. You're done. You got a long way to go to take that first spot back, though. <laughs> oh, and if you look at the map, uh, there are, like, multiple different doors that we can go through. So you have, like, your standard doors, but then you also have, like, story-based doors that you have to um, get, like, keys or something to unlock. So, like I said, mechanically, I actually really like this game, but, yeah. If you have friends, a friend card appears at the start of battles. But only if you have friends, otherwise you're you're screwed, I'm sorry. Don't know what to tell you. Uh, teaming darkness just means there's more enemies. Feeble darkness means that they're weaker. The, well, the cards that they use are weaker, the enemies. And then sleeping just means everybody's drowsy and easy to ambush. It's, yeah. But there's a whole bunch of different cards you can get, which is pretty neat. Oh, don't give me those eyes, Mr. Bit, or Mr. Noodle. I'm just, uh, I'm playing with you. You're always number one in my heart. <laughs> Supposedly, he's the strongest black mage because of his use of Zeta Flare and not dying after using it. Oh, okay. I feel like I've seen some sort of a theory like that about, about it, but Lord knows I don't remember it. I hate this game. Hate's a strong word. I don't hate it. I just get very annoyed with it. <laughs> Because I'm not patient enough to sit here and, like, wait for them to use whatever cards they want to use to use my cards. Like, I just I just want to attack them. Like, there, when he had the four, I could have just found a higher level card and then been fine, but I'm too impatient for that. <laughs> Uh, so if you stack the same type of cards, you'll use, like, higher level abilities if it's, uh, magic or friend cards. So, like, there we got Goofy Tornado level 2 instead of the regular Goofy Tornado. And if you use two magic cards stacked on top of each other, then you use a higher level magic spell, etc, etc. Strongest Black Mage because of his... Oh, yeah, we read that one already. Yeah, I mean... Sure. <laughs> Hey, Nate Allister with the 46 bits. Thank you very much, Nate. I appreciate it, bud. What do we got? Seems good and Shamrock one. Okay. I'm always interested in what all the uh, emotes are. 
I'm not a I'm not a huge emo person, so I never know the names of them or anything. <laughs> this is how I learn seeing what you guys use. <laughs> oh, you're trash. Do not use fire, Donald. Thank you. Seriously, thank you both so much. I appreciate you both. As with every RPG, I have to fight everything. I don't know what it is, but that's just how I play RPG games, man. If there are enemies around, I have to fight them. I have no choice in the matter. I should probably move that. I think it's an elixir is what they call it. I should probably move that to the end of the deck. So that, uh... It, uh... Aw, oh, shit, I just used the wrong magic. So that I can use, like, all of my cards before it happens. I mean, you can do stuff like just put nothing but super strong cards in your deck. But some of the enemies will end up doing insane freaking combos. To the point to where, like, the bosses and stuff. To the point where, like, it doesn't even end up mattering if you do that sort of thing. And plus, that'll eat up your CP a lot, too, so then you won't have very many cards in your deck. There's that, and then also a lot of combos don't use very high numbers. A lot of them use more reasonable uh, stacks, so it's a whole balance of game. It's a proper deck builder in a lot of ways. Just gotta have them use Zeta Flare Beam. I wish that was an option. <laughs> That's like a secret stack three uh, level nine Donalds. He just uses Zeta Flare and blows up the entire con uh, castle. <laughs> I love the music in Kingdom Hearts, man. Like I said, not only the intro songs and whatnot, but just the regular music too is so good. I just find myself sitting over here humming along with them. <laughs> All right, so we need a level four or higher of any level. Um, let's just use the team. Well, that's a really high level. Do we have any actual level fours? Just the friend card one? That's fine. I don't care. Use it. It's the trick to the speed run. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched a speed run of this particular Kingdom Hearts game. It's a little bit surprising to me, but... Uh, we should be able to open the map here. Yeah, so... Like, these rooms are rooms where we would have to find special things for. Uh, this one, if I remember correctly, is something that you don't unlock these cards until later, and then you can revisit these areas for extra stuff. Uh, this one is, like, the end of the level, if I remember correctly, and then the key is kind of, like, the first objective, because most levels have, or most worlds have, two objectives that you gotta meet. They says they make ridiculously good soundtracks in general. 100% agree with you there, man. I mean, the Final Fantasy... Square... Well, Square Enix in general, right? Square Enix just... Makes ridiculously good soundtracks. But see, and then, like, even there, you wait to break one of their moves... And then one of the other guys just breaks your move anyways. And that's why I just get annoyed with it. <laughs> it's like, alright, I waited. I played the way you wanted me to play. And I was punished for it anyways, so... Trash. Alright, we're gonna fight everybody in here, because like I said, I have some sort of impulsive need. Oh, uh, you should attack in this game every object in the world, because sometimes they can drop good cards and stuff. So you just attack everything. I hate you all! Another level up, nice. Freeze that bitch. 
Use our elixir to get our attack cards back. And murder some fools. Excellent. Uh, we're just going to keep raising our CP. We don't really have the cards for it right now, to be honest. So it'd probably be smarter to start raising our CP a bit, but... Eh, who cares? Uh, so, I mean, there's all different ways you can organize your deck. In a lot of ways, it would probably be smart to just order them from highest to lowest level. Or, like, rank or whatever. Because you can always just flip through your deck to do any combo you want at any time. And doing it that way would be the easiest to find. But I'm... I don't know. I'm lazy. I, I might try it this time. You know what? Yeah, I've never tried playing the game like that. And it sounds like a smart way to play the game. So maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll put zeros at the front, though. Because they suck. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can still unlock other Keyblades in this game, though. I feel like that's important to mention. Um, yeah, you can still unlock other Keyblades. And they just have, like, higher attack power. So you can see the Kingdom Key here just has a D+. Plus on the attack power. Other ones will have, you know, C, B, A, whatever. There may even be S tier. I don't remember off the top of my head, though. You can make multiple decks as well, which can come in handy if you... You can have, like, a boss deck versus just, like, a, a standard whatever deck. So you can do different things like that. Very nice. Strong initiative. I forget what that card does. Oh, see, yeah, like right there. We just uh, destroyed those barrels and got a extra cure card that we can add to our deck now. So we might as well go ahead and add that and that'll give us cure two if we want it or just give us an extra chance to cure as well. So that's very handy. I forget what the enemy cards do. I remember they're a thing, and they also mentioned them in the tutorial, but I don't remember what they do, actually. Just gonna stack Goofy so his smash doesn't get wasted. And we just, like, missed anyways, so good job, boss. And then I'm gonna stack all these lower level cards, too, because honestly, I just don't care about them that much. Oh, I didn't mean to stack that. Whatever. It's fine, we're at the end of the match anyways. Ooh, a premium room. Okay, so that is, you can get like uh, golden cards and whatnot as well. And uh, I think the premium room has a higher chance of getting one of those. I don't remember exactly, but something along those lines. Stack some of these. Nice. Thunder's probably the best move he can do, to be honest. You're trash for breaking my zero. But yeah, like, playing it right now, I'm wanting to play more of it, because I'm having a really good time with it. Like, I didn't even realize we've been recording for 43 minutes, streaming for, you know, 50-something. Because uh, I'm having a really good time right now, actually. But I know that in no time I'm going to be like just eh like halfway through the game or whatever I'm just going to start getting tired of it I just know it oh you can regen rooms too if you want to that's there I almost accidentally regened this room instead of uh just moving through the door so if you're wanting to like grind out some levels or something like that that's a way you can do it just constantly recreating rooms or if you're trying to like grind out high level cards or whatever, you have different uh, options there. Yeah, special cards, blah, 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 gotcha. Room where victory often leads to premium bonuses, yeah, okay. Uh, the fungi are back in this game. I forget how to like defeat all the fungi, but you get bonuses if you defeat them in the right sort of ways, that sort of stuff. Um, so we just need a level one, so it doesn't really matter what it is. I usually like the Teeming Darkness cards for their extra, 
whatchamacallit, their extra grinding ability, but we'll just go ahead and use it up here. Fighting alone isn't as easy as I thought, except you're not really fighting alone. Donald and Goofy have been in almost every fight. Ah! <laughs> Don't pop out of nowhere like that, guys. Gosh. Hey, it's not our fault we don't know what's going on. Ah, yup. <laughs> oh. Card got Yeah. Why is that hard to say? Your card goblin brain would activate and you have to collect all the best cards. Yeah. And that's why I said, like, I like a lot of the ideas behind the game. It's just the actual combat of it that I don't like. If it was like a turn-based card game, I would probably enjoy it a lot more. But something about the, the card game in real time, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to the town with Pluto. He's right. We were chasing after Pluto, and that's how we ended up in Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Traverse Town? Well, no, we're in Castle Oblivion. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention. Once you beat the game, you have to play through the entire game a second time, but with uh, Riku as the main character instead of Sora. And uh, the mechanics are a little bit different. I actually probably prefer the Riku playthrough more. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. It's interesting because uh, Riku is like coming through the castle. I think it's right after you do either right after or right before you do. Riku's also coming through the castle. So you get to play his side of the story after you beat it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to make us think all of our friends forgot about us. Leon doesn't know us, doesn't know what he's talking about. But of course, this isn't the real Leon. We were just talking about how we're actually in Castle Oblivion, so this is all moot. I think it's also important to remember that this was a Game Boy Advance game, right? So, <laughs> like, <laughs> that that was a thing to, to consider. Mr. Noodle with the 25 bits, thank you so much, love. You guys are about to make that stocking overflow down there in the corner. Just using all of your favorite emotes that time. But yeah, I don't know how they haven't like put two and two together that like <laughs> this is Castle Oblivion. We were just talking about Castle Oblivion. This isn't actually Leon. This is just some dude, uh, basically a hologram being created from our memories. Mr. Noodle says, yes, you were using all your favorite emotes. Hey, Yuffie! Bruh, now I want to play Final Fantasy VII. Bruh, I don't know if I've said on stream, but I got a PS5. I'm so excited. Whenever I actually get the PS5 in hand, because I haven't, like, received it yet. But whenever I get it in hand, we are definitely playing Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. And uh, we're going to be playing through it completely. <laughs> 100%. We may end up doing Final Fantasy VII at some point, too, but I haven't decided for sure on that one. If I want to do that one on stream or just kind of do it off stream where I can just kind of chill and enjoy it a little bit more on my own. But of course I did play it once already. So, you know, it's like, it, it, it's not like I'm going to miss anything. There's a little bit of new content, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, Yuffie made me think of it. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Super excited. It was all thanks to Mr. Noodle. Honestly, I may have been able to get one for myself. I was in the queue for it, but there is always the chance that the queue would have ended before it got to my turn. I was only a couple minutes behind Mr. Noodle, so I'm pretty sure I would have got one, but it's hard to say for sure. Yeah. Nice job, Mr. Noodle, for sure. The real MVP over here. <laughs> you are the best. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Noodle, I see what you're talking about now with Nate having the number one next to his name. That's because he's the number one gifter. You were the number one bit donator there for a while. That's where yours was. His is the number one gift box because he's donated the most uh, gift subs. 
Yep, yep. Leon's gonna show us how to protect ourselves in battle, apparently, because we haven't been destroying fools all the way up to here. Bob is dirty? Then clean Bob. Bob's our vacuum, for anybody that doesn't know. Our robot vacuum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're in the bath? Well, I don't know what to tell you then. Yeah, this is just more tutorial BS. Stuff I've already said. I'll clean Bob when I'm done. Cards with zero are special. They can break any card, but they can also be broken by any card, so... Kind of iffy. Nate Alistair with another 22 bits. Man, thank you. What are those ones? We got PJ Salt, Mr. Destructoid. I've seen Mr. Destructoid before. B Day 1, Rip, <laughs> and Try Hard. Oh, that's Trihex, isn't it? Yeah, that one there's Trihex. And then uh, I've heard PJ Salt before, of course, for when you're salty. Why are you making his drop sensor dirty? Uh, maybe it was you. Oh, he's going to show us how to stack cards. I guess it's called stalking. My bad, everybody. I explained horribly. We're stalking cards, not stacking cards. Yep, yep, yep. Press L1, R1 to use stocked cards, or just keep pressing triangle. Uh, yep, you can use slights. We've talked about all this. I know it all already. I'm sure there's stuff about this game that I have overlooked mechanically, but I mean, I know the basics at least. Just let's just get through the tutorial. Come on. Yep, I got the hang of it. What's he gonna give us, guys? Simba? We got our first, uh. Shit, what's it called? Uh, summon. Our first summon card. Oh, you know what? Maybe that last room isn't something special that you return to later. Maybe that's like a boss room? I don't remember. It's been a while. I know there are some special rooms that you can't uh, access until later in the game. But those ones that we saw here, these may just be like the boss arena or whatever. Actually, I don't remember. Five bits to your next badge. Congrats, man. Yeah. Well, and right now, the badges aren't anything special. They're just like extra... Well, I don't know what the badges do. I thought you were talking about emotes. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess we'll learn together. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I don't want to use the black room because I don't remember how to really do that fungi stuff, to be honest. You can use a card that's a higher value than what you need. But I don't really want to. We have all these zeros and stuff. Maybe we'll use a... Uh... Oh, man. I hate having so few of these. I guess we'll use a zero. Oh, it won't let us. Not here. Okay, whatever. I guess we're using a nine. Screw it. Nine it is. Maybe it'll give you an electric mouse. <laughs> a Pikachu? Maybe it'll give me a Pikachu peek at you. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I like puns. <laughs> More exposition. <laughs> yes, Pikachu. Lol. Everybody's forgotten us. It's okay. Then they've forgotten us because they're memories, Sora. They're not real people, for Christ's sakes. I mean, we all know the entirety of Kingdom Hearts is just uh, Sora's fever dream, right? During the storm, a branch or something got knocked through his window, smacked him on the head. And then the whole rest of it's just a fever dream. You know, him, his coma, his brain making up wonderful adventures. 
like, come on. I thought that was pretty obvious, right? Tetsuya Nomura really put in all the hints for you there. You just had to put it together, man. <laughs> there you go. You're figuring it out. There are memories. We're forgetting things. They're forgetting things because they're not real. And we have a friend in Castle Oblivion, that's why we're here. <laughs> there are way too many theories about that and you don't like it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't actually think anything like that's going on. And I'd be, a part of me would be pretty pissed if Tetsuya Nomura came out someday and said that is what was going on. But at the same time, I would kind of laugh to myself, just like, <laughs> really? Really? All of these games, all the convoluted storyline and all the BS, and then it's just... Hey, guess what, guys? He was dreaming the whole time. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what they're going to do in the next Kingdom Hearts game. Because uh, the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 leaves a lot of questions. I mean, every Kingdom Hearts game does, of course. But... But yeah, like, I have questions, man. <laughs> For sure. So... Alright, so this one doesn't have a value, so that means we can just use any green card that we want. It doesn't actually matter what level it is, it just has to be green. And then, yeah. Find out in another 15 years when 4 finally comes out. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I hope development goes a little bit quicker. But of course, that's you no more. And everybody's also busy making the Final Fantasy 7 reboot. And now they're a remake, sorry. And now there's talk of them doing a Final Fantasy 8 remake. Or was it 8 or 9? I don't remember. But regardless, like, yeah. I don't know, man. I hope it doesn't take that long. Or just for the next game in general. You know what game I do need to finish? I'm not sure if you can play it. I'm sure it would be fun on Twitch. But I'm not sure how it would work on YouTube. Melody of Memories? Because I haven't actually beaten that game yet. I have it for the Switch. Uh, but with all of the like music and the focus on music, I'm not sure how well that would go over on YouTube. But yeah, there's uh, most of the game is just a rehash of the past Kingdom Hearts games but at the very end of the game you do get some new lore some new story for the series so one of these days I'll, I'll finish that one just to see kind of what that it's got going on for it and then uh yeah I mean hopefully they said there was other games in the works so it'd just be nice to get some new story maybe get a little bit of closure because there's, there's questions that have been open for so long that they have just still haven't answered in Kingdom Hearts. And it's insane to me. I don't know how or why, but... It's, yeah, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, questions about the Organization 13 members, their founding, who certain people are, what's in the damn box. Like, <laughs> there's so much. Like, question for you guys while I got you here. Uh... We've been playing a little bit, and by we, I mean me and a couple friends, have been playing some of uh, the Halo... What's it called? Halo uh, Master Chief Collection? Or no, not Master Chief Collection. Infinite. Because they got that, that beta. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing some multiplayer of that? Just fair warning, though, I am very bad at it. But, uh... But yeah, it was actually, it was really fun playing it with, with friends. And, uh, I've been considering if I play more of it, I was considering maybe streaming it. That's what I ended up doing yesterday with my free time was, uh, was playing that. Halo is one of the shooters you actually enjoy. See, Halo has never been one of my favorites. Like, back on the, the Xbox with the first one, I really, really liked it. And then, by the time, like, Halo 3-ish came out, I stopped caring about it as much, to be honest. Um, but, like I said, I, I played it with friends, and I really enjoyed the, the multiplayer. 
aspect of Halo Infinite, at least. So this is a Mickey card. It does this. <laughs> it just does something special in the battle. I think it's only uh, really has an effect on bosses. I don't think it ever does anything with anything else. You do you, boo. Do what you want. Well, yeah, but I don't want to stream stuff that nobody's going to enjoy, right? Doing custom games on 3 with Forge maps really made me love it. See, and I think part of the reason why I never got that into it was also because I didn't have a uh, online, right? I didn't have live or anything. So whenever I was playing a little bit of 3, the little bit that I played, it was really just doing the single player stuff. And the story didn't grab me as much. And But with Halo 1, I really enjoyed that one because we did LAN matches, right? We took our two Xboxes, wired them up to each other and spread them across the entire trailer that we lived in and played 2v2 matches, which was a lot of fun on separate screens. Maybe people will like my friend and brother more than just me. Nah. Nope. We already know that's not true. <laughs> but yeah, we have been talking about maybe doing a playthrough of the campaign of the Halo games. We actually, that's what we were going to do last night, but Halo 1, you can only do... Uh, co-op. You can't do more than two people, so... Yeah. So that was the first boss battle, by the way. <laughs> we didn't really acknowledge it all that much, but, uh... Yeah, that was the first boss battle. Pretty simple. A lot easier than, uh, the first boss battle in Kingdom Hearts 1. And I just remembered that this is on proud mode, too. That was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, you'll be okay, Sora, no matter what shape reality takes, blah, blah, blah. And see, the reason why I don't really care about the story in these bits is because it's never happened, right? It's not actually important. The fact that they came here is important, and then the stuff that happens right at the end is important. But the rest of it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter at all. Used to make ATV track puzzles like zombie games, defend the castle, all out Michael Myers, so much fun, and just so many games we made up. I only got to do online one on weekend, sadly. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, I just noticed that the hour is up. I'm going to play a little bit more just because I am enjoying myself at the moment, but I am going to uh, go ahead and run the ad spot and uh, take a break and stretch and drink and do all that sort of stuff while we uh, just stay paused on this here cutscene. Plus, it helps with the pre-roll, too. Running an ad gets rid of the pre-rolls, which is nice. Mr. Noodle with another 25 bits. Thank you so much, love. And I, the stocking is officially full now. Overflowing, actually. You guys are amazing. Thank you both. I appreciate you both so much. What's the badge? Um, I don't know. Is that something you can put on, maybe? I, I don't know a whole lot about that, to be honest. <laughs> I'm terrible at Twitch. Hug. <laughs> like, did it pop up and tell you that you got a badge or something? Maybe it's something you can put next to your name, like optionally, or something that you can send in chat, like an emote? I'm not sure. I'm working on making custom emotes and stuff like that, so I'm assuming that it's some sort of badge that I can make a custom like emote for it said you were 25 bits from a badge oh yeah that's what uh nate and i were talking about earlier so you give 25 bits yeah wear badge <laughs> oh i don't know love i'm sorry all right let me stand up and stretch real quick That means you're 900 bits from the next badge, whatever the next badge is. Go down to your emote button and uh, see if there is a extra thing under my name. Because there may be an extra emote that you can use now. That's what I'm thinking. Mr. Noodle told me to stretch. I'm stretching. I promise. 
that was what you made it made you enjoy it just small group of buddies you had online we always had a group like that for fable 3 multiplayer also yeah that's what really makes a lot of games is uh is having friends to play with right just screwing around not taking the game seriously or whatever i'm hydrating i got you You better. I'm. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, not right now. I wouldn't be able to talk if I, if I, uh, <laughs> if I was doing it right this second. All right. Let's see here. Just looking that up real quick. Bit badges. Emote reward slots. Yeah, bit badges. But what are they? What are bit badges? Oh, okay, so when you cheer you can uh, use a custom badge, yeah. So right now I just have something generic in that slot probably. Um, but eventually I'll have custom stuff in there that you'll be able to cheer. Um, so like anytime you do the donate the bits or anything, you can you can show off custom things. So like I said, it may just be some generic at the moment, but eventually at least it'll be cool custom stuff just for the channel. All right. We are good to go. Had more than enough of a break and BSing. With Fable, you had to multiplayer because it's the only way to get all the legendaries and these rare gems. Ooh, okay. You do all the work and get no badge? I... Th are you sure? <laughs> like, I thought there was, uh, like, generic placeholders in the meantime, but there may not be. I'm, I'm not positive. I haven't really looked into that stuff since I started commissioning the uh, custom things. Um, which, by the way, progress is still being made on, apparently. It's just going slow, sadly. But I'll be talking to him soon about that stuff there. And moving elsewhere if I need to. I do not hate you, and I do want you to have a badge, love. You want an electric mouse custom one? <laughs> we might be able to make, uh, make that work, Nate. <laughs> All right, for anybody who's just joining, if there's anybody new in a chat or on the YouTubes, this is part of the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. It is my quest to collect and stream every North American PlayStation 2 game. Um, there are links, places, mostly on the website, but if you're in Twitch chat, you can also follow the link there by doing pound, or not pound, uh, exclamation point PS2. It'll, the bot will pop up a link for you that you can follow to my blog page where it says more about the the thing that I'm doing, the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. I forgot to uh, update the article, by the way. I was doing updates for, for like new games that I've collected and what's been going on in stream and whatnot. I completely forgot to release one on Saturday because I was doing those on Saturdays and uh, yeah, I forgot. I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to put a new blog post out soon because I've definitely collected some new games a fair bit. I do also have a list, of course, that you can that you can check. It's uh, publicly available Google Sheets that uh, people can look at to see what all I've collected and played and get links to VODs and stuff like that. So that's available for everyone. It, it's a badge you immediately thought of Pokemon. That's fair, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see how you would draw that connection there between the two. <laughs> okay. So we are now going through this door here. Wait, what? What's the blue one? Oh, okay, so after we beat the boss, we unlock the special room that we can't do till later. That's what it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this one is the one that we 
don't want to go through right now. So it was the one up here. I shouldn't have jumped back down. My bad. How dare I? I know. The worst. Start dodge rolling literally everywhere. Who wants to guess what the next, uh, next world will be? I have a pretty uh, decent idea of what it's going to be, but... <laughs> You do have some control over the order that you do worlds in, just like you do in Kingdom Hearts well, Sora, uh, 1 and 2, but not complete control. Your memories. Yeah, it was good to see everyone, but what do you really want from me? What do you have to give? <laughs> Hello! What do you I... No hog in the hero. <laughs> so for anybody that recognizes that character with red hair, I forgot his name for a second, and that's terrible Perhaps because <laughs> that's his Perhaps whole thing. <laughs> Is wanting people to remember his I name. Now, I feel a little bad, not gonna lie. Oh, my name's Axel. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Can't go five minutes sure. without asking if you memorize his name. And I just forgot it. <laughs> now that we're getting to know each other better. Axel is awesome, man. And I love his whole story arc, you know, going from a not a bad guy per se, but a bad guy and slowly becoming turning to the good side. But even, like, when he was a bad guy, if you play 358 slash two days or over two days, like, even then, he wasn't actually a bad guy, right? Like, he was doing some somewhat bad things, but he was still a decent person throughout all of it. Uh. Ow. <laughs> Uh, okay. So yeah, that's when you want to save your, like, zeros for, is whenever they're doing stuff like Firewall and shit, which I could have swore that I had enough points to, to beat his Firewall there, to be honest, but I guess not. Come on, Goofy. Murder his ass. Goofy, what are you doing? I said murder him. Yeah, character development. That's what it's called. <laughs> GG. First real boss. <laughs> Axel's much tougher than that first boss. Just because he's faster with his stuff. Has awesome character development. He was just mixed in with the wrong side, but always had a good heart in a way. Yeah, which is funny because, you know, they don't have hearts, but. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's that's pretty much exactly what it was. He, uh, you know. Is all becoming a uh, nobody. Got him mixed in with Organization 13, and of course he just wanted people that he fit in with. Another one? What to do? So he joined up with them. Not even necessarily by choice. Hmm. Kinda and uh, did what he had to do, do, really. It's what it's all about. When you made Travers Town. Then I guess we're gonna need it to keep going. That's right. <laughs> yep, yep. Did you really think after that introduction, I would give up oh so easily? You were they just wanted friends and to be known. Yeah, that's pretty much all it was. Congratulations, Sora. You're ready now. And then losing uh, Roxas and uh. You will need to follow your Oh crap! How do I forget her name? I can see her face, but I can't remember her name. Then you will find 
some but her and Roxas's best friend in the organization. It was just King Mickey and all around. He had a tough go of it, man. You will just but even through it all, he turned around and became a really good guy. No, not Aqua. Aqua was part of the original trio before the our Kingdom Hearts games. So what was her name? Xion? Something like that? Sure I'm that probably not pronouncing that right, but Zora. something like Xion. Why me? X I O N, I think it's think it is. In the darkness, and it seems that you've forgotten that you forgot. The light within darkness. Would you like me to give you a hint? Sora, do you need it? Take it, Sora. Take the hint. I'm gonna figure it out for myself. Ah, you loser. What are you doing? <laughs> Good answer. Just what I'd expect from the Keyblade Master. Could just made this whole process so much faster, but no. But before we gotta be stubborn. When your sleeping memories awaken. Yeah, they don't really talk about Xion a lot unless you know 358 slash two days, so I don't know. I can't even remember for sure if they mentioned her in any of like the mainline games or anything like that. So I don't know if you'd really know of her, to be honest, Nate. But it's a very sad story of its own, <laughs> the whole Xion thing. You have uh, Aqua Funko, which is why it came to mind. Ah! Yeah, I mean, Aqua's cool, but not the character I was thinking of. I really like that game. Like I said, Birth by Sleep, I mentioned that earlier. It's one of the better Kingdom Hearts games. Probably either second or third favorite, to be honest. Two being the best, one being the second best. What's wrong, or tied with Birth by Sleep. like. Well, you see, what actually and then three coming after world. those ones. What could he have meant by, you may no longer be who you are? I may no longer be me. How can and I then probably that? after that, it would probably be 358 over two days. And then Still, you can't be too careful. re uh, chain yep. of memories here at the because bottom. Like I've never played Recoded. Oh, I forgot about Dream Drop Distance. That one's pretty decent on the 3DS. Uh, I don't know how I'd rank that one, to be honest. Right around... Whatever it is they're cooking up, we'll probably be able to handle it together. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might like three a little bit more than I like Birth by Sleep, but it's close. First Kingdom Hearts when you came by, and that's when you wanted to play. It's PSP one, yeah, 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 PSP one, but it's also included on all of the remakes, uh, like the 1.5, 2.5 collection. It's included as part of that as well, though. So. Yeah, the only ones that aren't are recoded and uh, 358 over two days. Those two are only like stories on those discs. They're not actually included, which is too bad. It would have been nice if they had remade those ones as well, updated them to play on console. But you're not really missing anything by not playing through those ones, just listening to the storyline or watching the storyline or whatever. But yeah. Uh, warp points to let us through two different floors that we've already defeated. Cool, cool. Save point. We'll save in just a moment after we talk to Donald and Goofy. Goofy can't remember stuff. Big surprise. And Donald's being a dick because that's what Donald does. All right. So I think I am going to have to wrap this up here relatively soon. So what I think I'm going to do is go into the next world here and then whatever the first save point we get to is is where we'll call it. But uh, yeah, so we can choose from all different kinds of levels. The first one that we want to do, I usually do Olympus Coliseum first. So that's probably the one we're going to go to. <laughs> that's one. Of, oh man, I can't believe they ruined the Coliseum in Kingdom Hearts 3. That's one of the things that really makes me mad about that game. Really makes me mad. I, I love the Colosseum fights, and then the Sephiroth fight at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 in the Colosseum was just amazing. Such a fun fight, man. It, it brutally hard on Proud Mode, uh, fighting him solo, but such such a good time. 
I have very fond memories. I remember trying it over and over and over again. The first time I finally beat it, just like yelling out enjoy, man. It, so good. Panthers have to run an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. And listen to this, the great hero Hercules will also compete for the cup. Wow. Never been beaten? Let's kick his ass, man. We got this. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna compete either way. Y'all can't stop me. I ain't got no chill, boy. Yeah, I heard that they had some last minute level edits too, specifically with Frozen. I heard was one that they had to edit a lot at the end. Uh, to be honest, though, I think Frozen ended up being a pretty decent level. Um, but all of the levels were just a little bit lacking in character, right? Really cool, big open areas, but I just feel like there wasn't as much character in the levels or the, the characters themselves as there was in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And then taking out the Final Fantasy stuff meant there was less variety, so everything became a little bit more samey there. Um, it's just, yeah. And, like, the game almost feels a little bit rushed, which is ridiculous when you think how long they've been working on the game. But they did also switch to the Unreal Engine towards the end of development, like, because they were using an in-house engine or whatever, and then suddenly they decided they were going to use Unreal instead. So I'm sure that ate up a lot of development time, retooling everything and making sure everything worked properly, getting used to the new engine and all that BS. So, hey, we got Cloud. I, don't, I never understood why Cloud looks the way he does in this game or just in the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and, or yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 specifically. But uh, he looks cool. I just never quite understood why he looked the way he did. <laughs> You felt that all too well while you were playing, like, was hyped for Monster Inc. level and it was nice, but you were let down at the same time, yeah. I actually, like, the level design of Monster Inc. I didn't care for too, too much, but the Keyblade that you got there was really cool. <laughs> it was a fun level, though. And it, it's neat to see the Pixar stuff being included, right? Like, the Toy Story world at the beginning of the game, that was pretty cool, man. I was pretty blown away by that up until you got to the mall. Once you got to the mall, I just kind of got over it at that point. I didn't find the mall to be as interesting as uh, as the rest of the level. But oh well. Oh, we forgot to put our... We forgot to put our uh, fire. We got a fire spell at the end of the last level after defeating Mr. Axel Rose. Forgot to enable that. Ah, sh... Really? You're just gonna shoot us like that, boy? Like the keyboard and love monster version of Sora. Your kid enjoyed watching it? Hell yeah. Like I said, I still really enjoyed the game overall, don't get me wrong. It's just... I was just expecting more, I guess, right? I had really high expectations because of how much I enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and everything. So... I expected it to meet or beat the expectations for those games, and it just didn't quite match up. Which is sad, but it is it is what it is, you know? And uh, hopefully they learn from it. I mean, I'm sure they've heard a lot of the backlash and whatnot, so... Yeah, there's no Final Fantasy stuff, really, man. It's, it's gone. I, there's some, like, Final Fantasy-like BS thrown in. But it's not actually Final Fantasy, because the Azora, if you remember him from the uh, the uh, Toy Story level, Yazora uh, ends up being like a, a more important character at some point in the game, especially with the DLC that they made for it later. Um, so like, there's that, right? And that's Final Fantasy-esque, even if it's not actually Final Fantasy. But you're not, like, fighting Sephiroth. You don't have Cloud and all that stuff. It was one of your favorite things. Yeah, I really like that stuff, too, to be honest, in the game. But, yeah, well. At the end of the day, it wasn't the Final Fantasy stuff that made me love Kingdom Hearts. 
So, like, I'm okay with it being gone, but I would have rather it have been there at the same time, though. Because, obviously, I'm a huge Final Fantasy nerd, too. I, I love Final Fantasy almost as much as I love Kingdom Hearts. So, but oh well. This is the key room. Don't really plan on doing the key room. We're actually just going to open the next door here and get our save point in since y'all got a little a little taste of what the Colosseum feels like here. Got that level up again. Hell yeah. Um, get a new slight. I pretty much always unlock the slights whenever those become available. And then... Unlock uh, CP and HP second. Same, but you always enjoyed the how much unlikely mash it, up it was and how well it went. Yeah, that is crazy, like, when you think about it. it. It makes no sense, but I just realized we don't actually have a room of respite, so... Uh... <laughs> so I guess we just kind of have to wait and uh until we just get to a save point naturally that's fine though i don't mind playing a little bit longer so we got a treasure room here so we unlocked a or got a treasure card at some point just gives us a free tre treasure chest nice and simple should give us a, a card or something so we got a special move a slight which speaking of we need to go into our deck we have all of these cards that we forgot to put in here guard armor slightly extends their range of attack cards Sure, whatever. Equip it. I don't care. Uh, that took up a lot of CP, though. How much? 30. Don't think that's worth it, actually. Take it off. Uh, yeah. Take it out. We do want Simba, because that's cool. Oh, that's also CP 30, though. Ugh, we need to increase our CP more. Uh, okay, put the attack card in, because you can never have enough of those. Although, the low-level ones, using them all the time, get really annoying. And then we'll put in a higher level attack card. I kind of want to get Simba in there at least, but I guess we'll wait on that one a little bit. Break these these things for some Moogle points. We haven't seen the Moogles yet, but you can buy packs of cards. And, uh... uh I, can you craft new cards? I don't remember. It's been a little while. But you can definitely buy packs of cards and stuff with Moogle points can do that much for sure I don't remember there being any reason for going up here right yeah no there's there's nothing okay like I'm telling you they were at planning table the stoner worker came in extra toasty and just announced Final Fantasy and Disney and they rolled with it yeah <laughs> yeah uh if and actually, do you know the real story of how Kingdom Hearts came to be? Because they have actually said how how it happened. Um, I can tell you if you don't know it. I guess I'll just tell it anyways in case anybody doesn't know it. But uh, yeah, so essentially what happened was Disney and Square Enix, well, Disney Japan and Square Enix used to share an office building. So one of the guys from Square Enix, I don't remember if it was Tetsuya Nomura himself or if it was someone else was in an elevator with one of the Disney execs and was just like, hey, I've had this idea for a game and then just gave him the literal elevator pitch, right? Literally an elevator pitch, like stuck in the elevator pitching him this new game series they wanted to make uh, starring Disney characters. And surprisingly, have no idea how the hell it happened, but the Disney exec was like, yeah, let's go for it, man. Pitched it to his higher-ups, and here we are. Kingdom Hearts was born. Now, there was a lot of back and forth on it. The game didn't end up being exactly like that pitch, I imagine, although I don't think they've ever said exactly what was pitched originally. But they have shown, like, early screens of what Sora would have looked like, and at one point, I believe he was meant to use a chainsaw, for instance. Like, like it obviously was going to be a, a bit of a different game <laughs> than what we ended up getting. But... But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, just completely chance meeting between a Disney exec and a, a uh, Square Enix exec stuck in an elevator together. <laughs> it's good stuff, man.
You know what games I need to play at some point? It has nothing to do with Kingdom Hearts. I played all them, but uh, Final Fantasy VIII and IX. I've never beaten those games. I really should. Eight is a little less interesting to me than nine is. Nine actually looks really good to me, and I've just never gotten around to playing it. It's one of these days I need to give it a better shot. Eight a better shot, because I've only played it a tiny bit, and then nine just a shot in general. So we could go backwards and maybe save there. I don't remember if that would clear our progress, though, so I don't really want to do that. But I do need to be wrapping up soon, so hopefully we can get a save here soonish. For the 12-hour stream, try Fable for like an hour of it. I mean, I'm fine with that, yeah. Uh... If you remember, remind me to get it downloaded and make sure it's uh, running and everything okay. Because I will probably forget to do so. But yeah, I'm totally down to, uh, to try out some Fable on the 12-hour stream. Yep. I plan on, like for, I don't know, probably like four to six hours of the stream, probably playing a single game. Um, most likely Lord of the Rings because, you know, I'm trying to get through that game. Um, if by the time we do that, we're playing a different game, then it'll be that one instead. But, uh, did I put the... Did I put fire in the middle of my deck? Trash. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Alright, I need to fix that after we get out of this fight. <laughs> That obviously is not how I meant to do that. Who did we get? We got another Donald. Magic level 2. You figured that was the plan? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we'll probably do like a couple PlayStation 2 games for the PS2 Gauntlet. Right, maybe sports titles or something, because I have got a stack of, like, six of those again now. So I need to get through those at some point. Um, oh, wait, fix the cards. Um, so I'll probably do, like, one or two of those just to start getting through them a bit. And then... We don't actually have enough CP to throw that in here. That's annoying. And then... Uh, Fable 2, I'm fine with that. Playing that for, like, a couple hours. Uh, and then we'll do, or not Fable 2, sorry, Fable 1. I don't have Fable 2 yet. And then, uh, yeah, like six hours of whatever game we're trying to beat at that time. Which, uh, if it's not Lord of the Rings, the third age will most likely be Ratchet and Clank. Because that one is on my list of games to beat now. But also, uh, Eternal Ring is another one that we have on the list of games that I want to beat. So possibly that, but... Yeah, I guess we'll see. I want to pick up that card before we lose it. Oh, another fire. Nice. And another kingdom key. We really need to level up and unlock some more CP. See, it's it's annoying because, like, during the, the regular part of the game, it's all about having as much CP as possible for me. But then whenever you're fighting bosses, you really need that extra HP so you're not dying in a single hit. So it's like this balance that I never really know how to uh, how to achieve in this game here. Eternal Ring was pretty fun, man. Like, and like, I don't really know how to explain it because like, it seems like it has problems for sure, but I was still really enjoying my time with it. Like it was, it was pretty slow. The combat was very basic, but something about it grabbed me whenever I was playing it. I think it's the, the dungeon exploring and, uh, uh, and just all the RPG elements, like, not RPG as in, like, actual role-playing, but, because there didn't seem to be much actual role-playing going on in the game, but just, uh, no, why are you locked on to the stupid Brazier there? <laughs> um, but yeah, just, you know, leveling up, getting better gear, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm a sucker for, like, grindy games and whatnot, too. 
which that doesn't necessarily feel like it would be a grindy game, but it feels like it could be if you wanted it to be. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get rid of the big guy first, if we can. Because they're always annoying. Of course, you can't really hit them from the front so well. Goofy smash! Goofy's actually the Hulk, confirmed. We're just getting all the cards. I saw we got like two more Calm Bounty cards too, which is crazy. Like I didn't expect that, man. Those rooms are pretty powerful. Just get a free chest or whatever. That's one aspect of this game. The the grindy collectathon sort of aspect that I could find myself getting really lost in if I only enjoyed it a little bit more. Right, because the cards that you get and everything are, are essentially random. So you could spend a long time just collecting cards, battling over and over and over again. Divinity 2 Eco Draconia was one of the games like that for me. I don't know what that game is, to be honest with you. I have never heard of Divinity 2 Eco Draconia. I, I know of, uh, like, Divine Divinity and the second one in that series. I, I've beaten the first one, Divine Divinity, and I haven't played the, the second one much yet. But yeah, I've never heard of Divinity 2 Eco Draconia, I don't think. It's mainly found as Divinity 2 the Dragonite Saga. Okay, yeah, so that's... Yeah, so it's just Divinity 2, Divine Divinity's sequel. I mean, the, the combat system in that game, if I remember correctly, is essentially the same as Divinity 1. But can't you get, like, party members or something in Divinity 2? So you're not just playing alone? Because in Divinity 1, you were alone the entire time. You never got any party members or anything. Yeah, I like the Divinity series a fair bit, to be honest. It was, it was another one of those games, like, halfway through, I just kind of started being like, okay, I think I'm done with this now. So I started cheesing it. Uh, because if you... It had something to do with the, the ranger stat line in that game. You could just, like, destroy everything. <laughs> if you if you spec'd it right. So I didn't have it spec'd perfectly, because I didn't start doing that until, like, halfway, three quarters of the way through the game. But, uh, yeah. I started cheesing it after a while, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and I plan on playing the second one at some point. I even had it, like, loaded up and tested to make sure it would run and all that. I just never got around to actually doing it. Uh, so we need another seven. Do we have anything that's exactly seven? Nope. That would be too easy. Do we have a five and a two? Maybe. We have... A two and a three we have a four here so we'll use a four and then we had a three here so we'll use a three the copy you got was called eco draconia and missed some of the content that they added in the dragonite saga version okay okay yeah the one i have is just the the steam version so that is a uh, everything included version i don't have like a box copy or early version of it or anything It's really good, highly suggest it. There is another of fun secret stuff, a ton of fun secret stuff, I'm guessing is what you meant there in the first couple of areas. Yeah, it's a Diablo-esque, if anybody out there is just wondering kind of what those games are like. It's not exactly Diablo, but it's Diablo-esque. With it being like the isometric action RPG game. I really want to play through the uh, old Diablo games, too. That's another series that... I mean, I have played Diablo 1. Didn't play a whole lot of 2. But I'd love to actually beat them again. And then maybe give Diablo 3 another try, since they've updated a lot since I've tried it. I've heard the console version of Diablo 3 is pretty decent, too. So I've always wanted to try that version out to see if I enjoyed it more than PC Diablo 3.
I'm about to kick Cloud's ass, boy. Let's go. Help me. <laughs> Alright, after this, if we don't unlock a room of respite, a saving room, we're probably just gonna have to go back to the beginning and, and hope it doesn't regen all of the, the rooms, cause... Cause yeah, we are getting a little late here. That was terrible. Oh. Uh. Regen! Don't hit me! I need to regen! No! <laughs> Bad cloud. Bad cloud. Uh, rude. Ah, I just freaking wasted that. I'm an idiot. Cure myself. Uh, just do me a favor. Don't use cross slash right now, cause. Can you calm down, Cloud? For Christ's sakes, boy. Oh well. Good job missing with that. Trash. Ah, uh, speaking of trash, me just using freaking 20 cards for nothing. Cloud, chill, bro, chill. Thank you. Ah, uh, his stupid high level cards that he has, man. Oh, and I don't have any heals left. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, he's almost dead. I think we got him. Come on, come on, come on. Donald, just hit him, please, Donald. Donald, you piece of crap. <laughs> You could have at least healed us or something, Donald. Alright. We're Gucci. There we go. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> I always have trouble with Cloud. Diablo 3 is really fun on Switch. Yeah, man, that's what I've heard. I really want to play it on Switch. Uh, remind me to tell Mr. Noodle why you can't have your eye drops down here anymore. What? Did Bob try to steal them or something? And you got $28 in your jug. That's awesome, love. You're doing a really good job with that. I feel like the eye drops are also in the jug now. I hope not. <laughs> Did you put your eye drops in the jug, love? <laughs> Cloud's missing. He's just a memory, so you know he can do that. <laughs> Oh, and then I missed your other message there, Nate. You said uh, it was one you got with, like, three other games that your mom and dad picked up. Uh, mom and dad picked up for you on your birthday, and you played the heck out of it. Yeah, I mean, that's an awesome game to get on your birthday, man. It's one of those things that you can play for a long time, too, right? Okay, well, I mean, the boss room is right here. No, that is... Oh, uh, the boss room's back at the beginning. Ugh. Should we just do the boss room? So your nail glue was next to it this morning. You picked that bottle up instead of your eye drops. <laughs> yeah, please don't put your eye drops, or, or I'm sorry, your nail glue in your eye as eye drops. I'm pretty sure that would not help your uh, your your eyesight at all. I think that may harm it a little bit, if anything. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did that. So glad you didn't uh, get it in your eye. Your dad got glue in his eye once and he was fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it would end up being okay, but like, still. Not something you want. Played it on Xbox and Switch and have it on the go was so much better. It's good you noticed it beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think if I do get it for console, it'll most likely be for Switch. It'd be nice if they added the features from the console version on the PC version, because of course, like the Steam Deck's coming out, right? So it'd be really cool to... Uh, 
be able to play that on the go version there um but on pc on the steam deck but uh, as I said, yeah, we went back to the save and we went ahead and saved. We're going to call it a night there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely had fun with this one. I enjoy this game. I always end up enjoying this game for a couple hours. But then after a while, I just kind of get tired of the combat system and want it to end, which is too bad. Maybe if I take my time with it a little bit more and just played it over a longer period of time or like other games in between it, I wouldn't get so burnt out on it. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the support tonight, too. Awesome, awesome support from you guys, uh, both Mr. Noodle and Nate. I appreciate you both so much. Um, but, yeah, I hope everybody has a good night, and uh, I'll see you in a couple more days. We're not doing the normal Wednesday stream because of uh, the holidays that are coming up, Thanksgiving and all that. But we'll be doing a – still be doing a couple more nightly streams. Uh, what is today? Today is – Jeez, I am lost here. Today is technically Wednesday now, but Tuesday. So we'll be doing one Thursday night, and then I believe I have one scheduled for Saturday night as well. I haven't decided what games we'll be playing or anything. If anyone has suggestions, I'm always open to that. But yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.